Hello, everybody. Well, I want to be really positive. It's a new year and feeling very positive. We have 11 people off related to COVID um, and uh, those that are sick with it are not doing too badly and are being well supported. Our short term issues around absenteeism is mainly down to or down to weather uh, and people unfortunately having some minor car accidents and things like that. So staff are being incredibly responsible and being really helpful. Seven day tests. Wow, what a fantastic figure. 393. So we've done nearly 400 tests in, in seven days. That's a massive undertaking and our systems and staff and everybody are just really got to be congratulated on that. They're just doing fantastically well. Oh, wow, big smile on my face now. First vaccinations at the old Vicarage and Vicarage Lodge. Supposedly, they're happening today, were meant to happen yesterday, but uh, the vaccines didn't arrive at the, at the GP surgery, etc. And so I think that we make these assumptions that everything is very organized. I suspect that it isn't very organized. The 493 tests that you, uh, vaccines that you expect to come through probably only come through as 250 because somebody hasn't worked out the packaging. So like, who the heck knows? But it's, it, we, we mustn't get bogged down on all of that. They are doing incredibly well compared with everywhere else. You know, we, it looks as though by the end of the month that most people will be vaccinated who are in care homes. It's just fantastic effort where, when you consider where we were 10 months ago. And it's very easy to always be critical about the minutiae and everything, but actually overall stuff's going well. You know, the testing programs are working well. How we got there is another matter, but it doesn't matter. The testing program's going well. Vaccinations look as though they're going well. We're down in Somerset and the sun's shining today, whereas yesterday we had fog all day, I had freezing fog. So you know what? It's a really positive time and there will be those dark moments, but we need to figure and focus on all the positivity. Our amazing staff who are doing amazing things with the with our sons and daughters. And I really want to just thank them and thank you, parents and families, you know, for, for the fantastic way in which you've been supportive and, and the frustrations of not necessarily being able to see your sons and daughters. Um, but we all need to be responsible. There is an end in sight, end in sight. There are, as Boris says, the sunny uplands are somewhere there in the future, a bit of fog and haze in between, but we're getting there. So just, I really want to just, can't say that enough. This is positive moments with dark patches that will come, but it's, it's fundamentally a positive underlying thing. And we need to keep everybody's positivity up, the morale of, of the care of the homes, of the staff. They've got loads of activities that are being planned and we just need to encourage everybody to get it all across the line, however long that line is, and maybe it's not as far as we think it is. So very big thank you for all of your support. And I really want to wish you a very happy, uh, about to say new year, but we've done all that. That seems uh, like years ago, but a very happy weekend and year and week coming and look forward to catching up with you next week. All the very best.